Hi everyone, welcome back. So in the previous video we have seen how to add song to other playlist and how to play them. Now in this video we are going to see how to actually move the scale bar so that whenever the music starts the scale moves as well. So let's see how to do that. So we will first create a function scale update where we will do the all the task. So def scale update. Now as we have seen in the previous video that we have uh, initialized the two value of the progress scale to the music length. So each value of the progress scale that is from 0 to the music length will act as a one second. Okay. So here in the scale update first we will check if the uh, progress scale value is less than the length of the song then we will update or increase the value of the progress scale. So let's do this if self dot progress scale and we want its value if it is less than the self dot music length then what we want is to increase the progress scale value by one that is it will actually acts as adding one second to the value so we will do this self dot progress scale value and we will plus equals to one now after this we also want to change the self dot elapsed label so that it actually displays how much song has been played till now so we will change the label as well so self dot time elapsed label and we want to configure its text so we'll do this text and it will be equals to we have to copy the same format that we have implemented here to c and here we will paste this and here in in the place of time.gm time self dot music length here we will specify uh, the value that the progress scale is at so we will do this self dot progress scale dot get and it will get us the current value of the progress scale and it will be displayed on the time lapse label in the format of minutes and seconds now we don't want this scale update function to be called just once we want it to be continuously called so that the progress scale continuously moves as the song ends so we have to call this once again and it will be called as a thread so that it actually be very separate from the other code so we will do this by self root dot after and here we will specify the number of seconds after which this has to be called it is in milliseconds to 1000 and here we will specify the function that needs to be called which is self dot scale update scale update and we will store this inside a variable so that when we play the next song then we need to cancel uh, the thread of this particular song with that variable we will be able to access let's name it self dot updater now this will work now we have to call this scale update at the time of playing the song and so when the play song function is called and we start playing the music then after this we have to call the scale update so scale so self dot scale update now let's play the song so here we will click on the action menu and add the songs and let's select them now every song is visible here and the first is uh, selected now if we will play the song then it needs to move so let's play this Here instead of progress scale we need to have time dot gm time and inside that we will pass the uh, progress scale value. So here let's see control c and here we will pass that control v and put this in the bracket. Now it should work fine. Let's run the code again. So here we will click on the actions add song and we will select all the songs here and everything is added in the playlist and now play. So as you have seen our scale widget was working really well as the music plays the scale widget also moves accordingly and uh, likewise the time elapsed table also changed that is it also displayed the number of seconds passed in the songs so both were working really well. So for now scale update function is completed and now we will move to our next function which will help us to play the next song next and previous song so we'll create a new function next song now when we click on the next button then the current song that is playing we need to cancel that's updater 
because of that updater the scale widgets moving so we need to first cancel that so for that we need to do sub dot root dot after cancel after cancel and here we will provide the self dot updater that we have defined here we need to cancel it so that a new song can begin self dot update now we will see if the current song that is playing is in the last index of the list box if it is then we have to play the first uh, song in the list box that is of the zeroth index so first we need to get the details of the current song so that we can perform the uh, further operations now first we will get the index of the current song that is uh, the active song so it will be song index equal to self dot songs list dot index of active active and now since the current song is actually highlighted we need to remove that so we will do self dot songs list dot selection clear selection clear and here we will provide the active so that the current song that is playing it should uh, remove from highlighted portion now we will also get the list length is equal to self dot songs list songs list dot size now we will check if the current song index is actually at the last if it is at last then we will print the uh, or select the zeroth index song so let's do this if list length minus 1 is double equals to song index it means if the song is at the last index then we need to uh, select the song of the zeroth index that will be our next song so we will do self dot song list dot selection set and we will select the zeroth index and after this we will activate that self dot song list dot activate zero and after this we need to play the song so we will call the play function self dot play song and that's it and now if the song's index is not the last index then we will just select the next immediate song so we will do self dot songs list dot selection set and here we will pass the songs index plus 1 that is the next song we want to select and after this we will activate that as well so self dot songs list dot activate and it will be index song index plus 1 and we need to call this as well so self dot play song so our next song function is ready and likewise we need to implement the previous song as well so let's create that so here will our previous song previous song and here too we need to repeat that process that we need to cancel the updater and get the current song index so let's copy this and paste here now we have the list length now in case of previous song if the song index is zero then what we want is the previous song will be the last index of the song song index if it is zero so if the song index is equal to zero then we will be selecting the song at the last index so self dot song list dot selection set and it will be size that is list length minus 1 and we need to activate that self dot song list dot activate list length minus 1 now we have to call the play song function now in the else part that is if the song index is not zero then we will just uh, subtract one from the song index and that song will be playing so we need to do self dot songs songs list dot selection set and it will be song index song index minus 1 and we need to activate that self dot song list dot activate also be song index minus 1 and we need to play this self dot play song so our play song and sorry next song and previous song function is ready now we need to specify this functions in the command parameter of those buttons so let's do that as well so here in the command we need to provide the function name self dot next song and in the previous button too we need to provide the self dot previous previous song so let's see if it is working fine or not and run the code invalid syntax self dot song index so there was a typo here line 230 here song index plus 1 then let's again run the code yes let's add the song here and play it so as you can see uh, the next button is also working fine and our previous is also working fine now if we are playing this uh, this song at the last index then if we press the next button then it will play the song at the zero index so our logic is working fine now if we click on the previous button and this song is the zero index then it will uh, play the last index song
so our next song function previous song and scale update function is working really well we have seen how to update the scale how to play the next song how to play the previous song so that's it for this video now from the next video onwards we will be seeing how to pause the song and unpause the song now that will be quite interesting because we don't have two separate buttons for playing and pausing the song we need to implement that in the single button so we will see how to implement that so that's it for this video we'll meet in the next one bye bye